Once it's gone through initial setup, this is the screen we'll get on ZCAT. We have three options on this screen. We have control cap measure, which is the built-in software. We have probe calibration, and we have tool settings. Uh, tool settings is something you won't get into very often at all, but if I just touch on the screen, you'll see I've got options of temperature compensation, of probing parameters, of display settings, and about. About is just uh, what version that we have here. But if I were to hit temperature compensation, it'll bring up a, another menu that gives me different options. One of them is to turn temperature compensation on or off. And it will, the temperature compensation of the base and the temperature coefficient. Um, I'll go back. Probing parameters is, again, uh, we have one probe set up. This is number one. Uh, you could have a second probe set up. That would be probe set number two. We only have the one right now, so I'll go back. Uh, display settings are basically just to calibrate this touch screen for your touch or your stylus or your finger. Whatever you're going to use, you can calibrate it yes or no, and I'm going to say no. Basically, it brings up a few little targets around the screen, and you touch it, and it calibrates it for your touch. This is a standard touch screen, which is very similar to what's on many cell phones uh, out there. So um, if I hit the back button, it'll go back to my screen again where those three options. Probe calibration being the next one, so I'll touch that one. It says uh, probe set number one, which is the one we're using right here. Begin calibration, yes or no, and if I hit yes, the ZCAT will drive to a location. And this is where our setting master and our test piece come into play. Uh, for the calibration. Uh, the screen now says probe set one cal ball position question mark yes or no and all we're going to do is position this ball directly underneath the vertical probe and it doesn't have to be you know within a micron or anything like that I just get it close and when I hit yes now the ZCAT is going to go through a pre-canned routine of checking each of the two stylus multiple times in different articulations. This is about a four minute process. So now's a good time to go get some stuff ready because it's not something you were only gonna watch. But uh, this is a typical probe calibration that would happen on the ZCAT. Uh, I recommend doing it every morning. Uh, if you have a high temperature fluctuation in your work area, you might wanna do it more often. But it does. it is a four minute process. Um, and it's on the master sphere, that one inch sphere that comes with the ZCAT. At the end of it, it's giving me the deviation on the vertical probe and the horizontal probe from the last time it was calibrated. And there's a continue button and I just hit continue and it goes. And now it will go to the home position and you're ready to measure. Thank <laughs> you.